And so in my last what I eat in a day video, I made a snack where I used a tortilla. I know it's not tortilla, quesadilla, I was just kidding. But anyways, a lot of you guys showed interest um, in a video on how to choose tortillas. So here it is. So the first thing to think about when choosing tortillas is to think about um, health claims and what health claims are important to you. Um, we have different fitness goals, um, so we're gonna have different things that we're looking for in a tortilla. Maybe you want it to be lower fat, maybe you want it to have more wholesome ingredients. Um, I can't tell you what you're looking for, so my goal today isn't to tell you which tortilla to buy, um, it is simply to teach you how to look at the package, look at the label, and decide for yourself what is gonna be best. Before we get started, you are not going to find a tortilla that is low in calories, low in fat, and low in carbs. That would be nice, but unfortunately, these things have to be made out of something. They can't be made out of air, right? Also, the basics of this video, so looking at any sort of package and nutrition label, can be applied to any product. We're just gonna use tortillas as an example. I also did a how to choose bread episode. If you are interested, you can check that out. There are hundreds of tortillas out there. Today, I'm just gonna talk about five or six of them so that we can get all the points across. Um, but again, I am not partial to any of these brands. I am just simply using them to teach you the information. So starting with the traditional flour tortilla. And for the sake of consistency, we will be looking at all medium-sized tortillas today. The first thing you wanna look at when you look at the nutrition label is the serving size. So one serving size here is one tortilla, which is 49 grams. That means 49 grams by weight. The next thing you wanna look at is the calories and um, what the calories are in comparison to the size by weight. So just looking at one, that's not gonna mean anything, but later on when we compare the other uh, tortillas, that will mean something. So this uh, package of tortillas, just regular flour ones, has 140 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, one of which are fiber, and four grams of protein. So that is your base. The other thing you're gonna wanna look at are the ingredients. Now, we pretty much know that a basic flour tortilla is not ideal, and that's because it is made with white grains, right? So when you look at the ingredients, enriched bleached wheat flour pretty much is a secret way to say white flour, which I talk about in the how to choose bread episode. So if your first ingredient says that, that is not whole wheat, but you already knew this wasn't whole wheat because it's not claiming to be. So I'm just using this one to start with so that we can compare all of the others to it as we go throughout the course of this video. On to the health claims. So this is where every single tortilla out there wants you to think it is the best tortilla. It tastes the best, it has the best health claims, but is that true? So the first one we're gonna look at is multigrain. Multigrain is sort of funny to me because they try to make you think that it is healthier because it has multiple grains, right? Multigrain, but really, if it was whole wheat, it would probably be healthier because usually multigrain also includes a white or refined grain, but the only way to know is by looking. So when we look at this tortilla, first, what do we look at? The serving size. One tortilla is 49 grams. So that is exactly the same size as the flour tortilla. This tortilla has 150 calories, four grams of fat, 23 grams of carbs, five of which are fiber, and four grams of protein. So you'll notice the calories are a little bit higher, but not a huge difference. Um, there's a little bit more fat. The carbs are about the same, slightly less, and um, protein's the same. What's really different here is the fiber. There's five grams of fiber rather than one, and that is because the grains um, that are being used in this multigrain tortilla have more fiber in them. And if you look at the first ingredient, it is whole wheat flour followed by water, so that's good. That means these are likely um, tortillas made with whole wheat. Um, now, the bummer about most tortillas bought in a store, the ingredients list are pretty long. So they aren't the cleanest foods you could buy, they have been pretty processed, but we can make healthier choices when we are looking at them by reading the labels ourselves. Uh, a quick note about ingredients lists. Um, if you didn't know, the ingredients on the label have to be listed in order of how prevalent that ingredient is in the product. So whatever the first ingredient is, is used the most. Whatever the second ingredient is, is used the second most, and that's by weight. And that is like by law required to be the case. So 
Um, if you notice that like sugar is the first ingredient, that's probably not the tortilla you want, just be aware. Next up is the carb balance. So what is the claim that this is making? Um, it's making me think that it's probably lower in carbs. It says six grams carbs, and then really small next to that six grams, it has a net six grams of net carbs. Well, if I don't know what that means, I might just ignore that word and think it means six grams of carbs, and that's pretty dang low if you consider that the other two are 24 and 23, right? But let's examine further. One tortilla is serving size 42 grams, so it's a little bit smaller than these, but not much. It's 120 calories, so a little bit less, but it's also a little bit smaller. Three grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, and five grams of protein. So. The carbs here, 19 compared to 24 is not that big of a difference. It's not big enough for this to really be called a low carb wrap, right? But if you look at the fiber, it's 13 grams of fiber. So net, this is where the word net comes into play. Your net carbs are your total carbs minus the fiber. So 19 minus 13 is six. So you do end up with six grams of net carbs. Why is that important? Well. Fiber is something that we do want to consume. So at least when it comes to marketing, a lot of people try to say that you really only need to worry about those net carbs, but that's not really the truth. When it comes down to the science of it, all carbs matter. Now, not all carbs are bad, carbs aren't bad, but you need to be aware of all the carbs. You can't just forget some of them because you feel like it. Um, so this is not a low carb tortilla because it still has 19 grams of carbs. Um, but again, if I didn't know what that word meant, uh, net, and I didn't look to the back, then I might not know that. Now looking at the ingredients here, the first ingredient is water, okay. The second ingredient is modified food starch. So there is more modified food starch in this than any sort of wheat, and the wheat that is in here, enriched bleached wheat flour, so we know that means why? So there's more modified food starch, which is probably what's upping the fiber. Is that really what we want to get our fiber from? I mean, we want our fiber from wholesome sources like whole grains or, you know, fruits, vegetables, that sort of thing. So even if they are six grams of net carbs and 13 grams of fiber, is it really the fiber we want? Next up, 95% fat free whole wheat tortillas. So it's making a few claims here. It is low in fat and they are whole wheat. Let's review. One tortilla, 49 grams uh, in size, so it is the same as the original flour tortilla. 130 calories, so pretty close. Two grams of fat, 24 carbs, four fiber, and five protein. Now the health claim here is that this is 95% fat free. It contains two grams of fat. The original flour tortilla contains three and a half grams of fat. So this is one and a half grams of fat less. Is that a huge difference? Hmm, eh. Is it enough for me to really buy this? I don't know, I would probably buy this more because it's um, whole wheat than because of the fat-free claim. Um, and it is whole wheat, upon review of the ingredients, whole wheat flour is the first ingredient followed by water. The bummer is the third ingredient is brown sugar, so. Is this the tortilla for you? Who could know? Next up, the spinach tortilla. Now this is an ever so deceiving tortilla. Sorry, <laughs> I had to do it. Um, because it's green, so that means it's healthy, right? It says on the front, it is made with fresh herbs and vegetables. It's a savory spinach tortilla. Um, let's review here. One tortilla is 43 grams, so a little bit smaller in size, but not much. 110 calories, so it is a little bit um, less calories than any of the others we've seen. Two and a half grams of fat, 19 grams of carbs, three grams of protein. Um, now there's a few things to look at further here. Number one, the fiber. There is a half a gram of fiber in this bad boy. You would think if there was gonna really be vegetables in this making it healthier, that there would be more fiber, right? Because that's one of the great thing about vegetables. But this actually has less fiber than any of the tortillas we've looked at so far. Let's look at the ingredients. Enriched bleached flour. So it is white flour. Um, now I'm like, where's the spinach? Where's the vegetables? I have to go down halfway past vegetable shortening, partially hydrogenated soybean and cottonseed and canola oil, then I find vegetable puree and extracts. So pretty much, this is some really finely ground up spinach um, that's used to dye the white tortilla green. This is not really a nutrient dense product like they want you to think that it is, but 
You wouldn't know that if you didn't read the label. To finish up, I have two tortillas that I'm gonna share with you that I personally choose. Um, and I was actually only able to find one in the store. Of course, the day that I go to buy all these to film, they don't have the one that I need. But anyways, the first up is La Banderita. And I don't know if I, I don't have a very good Spanish pronunciation, so don't judge me. But this is a low carb, no cholesterol, high source of fiber tortilla. Why do I choose it? Is it really a good choice? Let's see. The size of the tortilla, 45 grams. So about, you know, the same size as we've been looking at. 81 calories, so that's significantly lower. That is, you know, two thirds of the calories of the other tortillas. Two grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, six of which are fiber and five grams of protein. 11 grams of carbs, that's literally half the carbs. So this actually is a lower carb tortilla. We're not talking net carbs, we're talking total carbs. And still, half of those carbs are from fiber. Now, where's that fiber coming from again? You know, who can know? Let's investigate here. Ingredients, first we've got water, whole wheat flour, corn oil. So this is a whole wheat tortilla. Um, and it has oat fiber, but the oats are still a whole whole grain. Um, and it does have, you know, a, a decent, a, a decently lengthy list of ingredients, but it's actually still shorter than most of these other varieties. Now, is this the healthiest tortilla you can get? Healthy is a relative term. Um, it is not the least processed uh, tortilla I can get. But as far as macros go, this one works. Um, it's lower in calories, lower in carbs, low fat, and still decent protein and fiber. So this is one option if you're gonna go with a more processed tortilla. The other option is the one that I couldn't get and that is an Ezekiel tortilla. So if you enjoy Ezekiel bread or sprouted grain bread, um, they also make tortillas. Looking at the stats, they are 57 grams, so they're actually a little bit bigger, but they're also more calories, 150 calories. Three and a half grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, five of which are fiber, and six grams of protein. So macro-wise, the Ezekiel tortilla isn't that much of a greater choice. What's really great about this tortilla are the ingredients. The list is short, you know what all of them are, and it's made from sprouted grains, so it's very healthy. This is actually a nutritious choice. These other options, they're pretty much not hurting your body, but they're not really doing it much good either. The Ezekiel tortilla is actually offering a little bit of nutrition. Now the downside, I personally think the Ezekiel tortillas don't taste as great. They tend to fall apart a little bit. They don't, you know, I can't really hold my whole burrito together as well, um, but I still like to eat them and I try to eat less processed foods. If I'm really craving that quesadilla and I want it to stick together really well, I'll go with the La Banderita, but the Ezekiel is really the cleanest choice that I have found. Now, again, I'm not partial to these brands. I just wanted to share them with you for example. So if you have a favorite brand that you've discovered and you wanna share it in the comments below, please do. And please also recognize um, that I, this is not me telling you to eat these tortillas or not eat these tortillas. I really want you to learn to make an informed decision on your own. So I just wanted to take this information and make it easy to understand so that you can go and make healthy choices when you're at the store. One thing that we didn't really talk about just because this video can only be so long is sodium. Now, a lot of the really processed tortillas can have a lot of sodium, like over 350 grams. So you definitely wanna look at that, especially if you're trying to consume less sodium. They do have tortillas out there that are specifically made to be lower in sodium but you know, they don't always measure up in all the other departments. So it's a little give and take always. You have to kind of recognize when you're going for, you know, lower carb or lower fat. Again, they can't be made of air. So when they take something out, they have to put something else back in to make up for it. So that's all for this video. Thanks for bearing with me. I know it was a little bit long, but I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, I hope you will give this video a thumbs up and share it with someone to help teach them how to make healthier choices on their own. I will see you on Monday for a brand new episode. So don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a great weekend.